Hey YouTube, it's Sean. I bought this generator new eons ago, years and years ago. And I use it for welding a lot. However, I haven't used it for quite a while now. And uh, now when you uh, start it up, it start surges, you know. And I'll show you that. All right, so hang on one second and we'll start it up. I do have a battery charger hooked to it because it's set so long. So let's see if we can get it rolling. Be right back. All right, guys, I got you on the tripod there. Hopefully you can see what's going on. Let's see if we can get this thing started. It's been sitting a long time. Say about three years roughly I don't know if it'll start with the electric at this point let's try it charger on it but this is what I, I plan on doing guys all right I'm gonna disturb you for a minute here okay there's the generator and that whole setup is different than the carburetor that I have but in this box from Cheney China, let's put it over here. We have a carburetor and it will run on LPG right here and natural gas down here, and it'll also run on gasoline. And they claim that you don't have to do anything, disconnect anything, do anything. They claim you just have to hook this up and it'll work. Let's see if it works. Join me for the adventure. Be right back. Get me some tools out. We're going to start woodling it apart. Alright guys, we're back. Just want to make sure that you know this. But you will not be able to see everything I'm doing. I'm going to try my best. But... We'll do what we can. You betcha. All right. So these bolts right here around the air cleaner are uh, 5 16 or 8 millimeter, whichever you have. So we're going to try that right now. See if we can get that off there. I don't know what modifications we have to do put that carburetor on here we'll get there when we get there right we will see let me finish taking these off and I'll be right back. all right behind the air cleaner there is a 10 mil that you have to take out in order to remove your air cleaner. It's just a simple nut. It shouldn't be a big deal. Just loosen it up and take it out. Done deal. Now this should come off with any luck on the front half. Now we're not done because the only the front half comes off, but you gotta take the back half off as well. To do that, you gotta 
take off these two tens on the front. that hold the air cleaner to the carburetor. Save all your nuts and bolts because you're going to need them again. Take your air cleaner housing off and there it is. Okay. Now, this one is different. Lots different. Lots, lots different from the one that the choke I have does not run the vacuum. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it doesn't run the vacuum. Um, it just has a actual choke lever. So we're gonna disconnect this right here and pull it off. There. Because we're probably not gonna use this piece again. Maybe the gasket, but not that piece, okay? Next, here's the fuel line, and here's the carburetor. You just pull it off, like so. And you disconnect your little spring carefully, because that's what runs your governor. And then you release your governor arm from it. Then you got your fuel line, which this one is crunchy. And then you got your wiring for your shutoff right here. Okay. Let me uh, release the fuel line and unplug the wiring. Be right back. There you guys, we got our carburetor off. You gotta carefully, best as you can, remove your gasket. Cause, unless you have a gasket kit, you're gonna need it. I love it. Right there, this gasket, this is a Chinese generator by the way. But right there it says, made in USA. That's a little encouraging, isn't it? They're using our gaskets to put their generators together, right? I like it. Alright, if we can't get this off, no biggie, I can make one. But, looks like we pulled it off good enough. Alright, alright. So there's our old carburetor. Alright. Now there is a vacuum port up here that we're going to have to plug. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a vacuum port. And that's for this extra choke mechanism that we aren't not going to use that has this solenoid set up for vacuum port or I, some such a deal. Yeah, we don't need it. All right, bring it back. All right, guys, we're back here again. And I don't know if you remember me talking about that little vacuum port right here that runs this whole mess right here. But out of the housing right there, there's that little vacuum port. You have to plug that. And I just used a piece of the original vacuum line. And we're gonna plug that off, okay? There you go. All right, now, let's see if I can get you set back up here. You can see what we're doing. Put you right there. Okay, now, with that plugged, we're all set. My gas works, okay? Now we have our carburetor that we're gonna replace. The one that we're gonna put on it, okay? I forgot to do this, but I wanna try it. Make sure the housing on your intake is the same. 
with, between your new one and your old one. Yeah, has to be. And it looks good. I'm liking it. All right, so. That's important. Okay. So now we got to put our carburetor, <coughs> carbonator, as Grandpa used to call it. All right, we got to put the gasket and the carburetor back onto the housing there. There we go. Okay. All right, route this back around here for now. I'm just gonna have to plug that in later. All right, so this is where our fuel goes in. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like you can. And this is where our fuel comes out. All right, and that's for gasoline. So, the next step is to start reassembling your your housing but I can't do that because I don't have gas line yet hooked up I want to replace that I do want to make sure however that our choke lever is hooked up and functioning all right but before we do that I guess it's a better important idea to get our linkages hooked back up for our governor. Yeah. You gotta be real careful with this little spring though. That's for the governor actuation. Okay. We got her. So make sure it's functioning by pushing on your governor arm. It looks good. All right. Carbon tater is put in place. You betcha. Okay. I plan on testing this both on um, uh, propane and gasoline, okay? See if it works. You know, it's Chinese, we don't know. You're along for the ride along with me, guys. Okay, well, let me get some gas line hooked up here and I'll be back. We'll see if they, we can put it back together. All right guys, we've got our fuel line hooked up. Now before you do anything, I always try to uh, turn my fuel on. There, you can see it run down. At least I did, and see if you got a leak before you go any further in the process. Because the worst thing is to have to take it back apart just to fix you know, stupid stuff, right? Yeah, that choke lever just hooks right up on the top. There's a little pin that goes in there, a little pin that goes in there, and it runs the choke. Yeah, you just wanna make sure you don't have any leaks. If you do, then that means we have to go into the carb which all this stuff's China, so yeah. You just gotta hope for the best, guys. But I don't see anything. Looks good. So next, you're gonna want to uh, put your. Uh, <clears throat> Oh. Air cleaner back together. And uh, to do that, I really 
don't think you have to have a gasket here, but my in my opinion. But there was, so we'll use it. There was, so we'll use it. It's not going to change anything if there is or isn't, but might keep dirt from sucking through there. So, there we go. So now we got the old style Honda choke instead of the, the newer setup. Okay, that's how that works. But don't forget your uh, breather tube. Not here, not right. Now you just go ahead and put your housing back together. Just the same as it come off. Mm -hmm. Clean everything up as you go, guys. All right, so let me get this put back together and pinned together. We'll be back. All right, my fault, I forgot to You gotta put your you gotta put your nuts back on guys right here my bad yeah you gotta put those on and tighten them before you put your air cleaner assembly together okay very important otherwise nothing's gonna run okay getting ahead of myself aren't I <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right. That's together. Now you can go ahead and put your hair cleaner back together. Okay. We'll be right back. Go ahead and do that. All right, guys. We know it runs. Let's put this air cleaner back together. Don't forget your choke lever up top. Make sure it's intact. Gotta have that. All right. Alright. Yeah, and when you do a conversion, there's a little screw that goes in it too. And I'll show you that. However, yep, you just put this back on in reverse of the way you took it apart. Little nuts go on there. On the little studs. Yep. Poodle. Lost that one. All right. Yep. All right, let me do this. We'll be right back, guys. All right, folks. All right, we've successfully got it to run on gasoline on this uh, tri-fuel carburetor. So now, got to make sure you do your your choke setup now you could do this before you put it together like an idiot I didn't do it so uh, I can get it in here and use a stubby to uh, put it in but it comes with this little screw for the conversion and it just goes right down in this hole right there for the handle okay and you just use a little stubby screwdriver and put it down in there so let me do that and I'll be right back 
Alright guys, now that you've got it to run on gasoline, you do have to adjust your carburetor because it is new and it's not made it to the machine at all. Alright, alright. So now we're going to do that. You're going to have to get yourself a screwdriver and I'm going to start it up to try it. There it seems to be about where it wants to idle. So let's start it back up and try it again. Let's adjust it to where it idles the back. it guys all right so that's it about the end of this episode next time we're gonna see if we can run this on one of those yep one of them there over there propane can okay but it runs good on gasoline. We've confirmed that. It's solid on gasoline. So that's how we do a tri-fuel carburetor on a GX390. There you go, guys. And that's what the motor is here that we're working on. It's the same as a GX390. It's a 13 horsepower China clone. Oh, batteries coming up yay all right so we'll see you next time guys love y'all take care bye bye